I will just show you how to use one of the other Connect apps. So first of all, you want to look for your Connect icon. That's for the toolkit. The toolkit will open. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose a different app. We usually choose the D2D for examples, but we'll use the Connect Explorer WPF. So if you run that with your sensor connected, then you'll see if we click around we'll see the movement on the screen so we've got different settings again exactly the same which are usually in the menu bar on the top of the usual app but now you've got your options down at the side so you'll be able to choose the different skeletal streams depth stream and colour stream so you can actually flip two different resolutions by just tapping on the buttons at the side if you want you can just turn off so if we go back to infrared you can see me in infrared mode and then we can go into 30 frames per second as 640 by 480 or we can go up to higher resolution at lower frames per second <coughs> can actually <coughs> you can get the connect as well as you can see it'll tell you which way the noise is coming from on these bars on the audio angle so if I tap the sensor on the different sides I'll just do that there so you can see it so if I'm tapping it on that side you'll see that the right hand side of the sensor is actually moving up obviously if you want to record what you're doing you then press the sensor bar icon with the three dots underneath so that visualizes record stop and play so you press the icon there you get your recorder up because you've already got your app open you'll see the connect explorer wpf app there you press connect so what we can do then is drag the record bar down over on top of the audio so it's quite neatly in place. Press record. And we stop that. And then you can obviously tr track through your recording. So you can either play it as a whole. I'll just start to play away there. I've just highlighted part of it so it's just going to highlight that that bit so if you only highlight that bit and hit play i'll just record a short bit obviously if you want to play it all click off and then just press the play button um tools if you press options that'll allow you to save the documentations to a set place documents to a set place so your recordings all go there which you'll need to play back using the studio. And then if you want to save it, you press file, save. And then it will save it to a specific place that you've set up, or you can save it to your desktop, etc.